How's it going guys, it's Jesse here. Get yourself comfortable because today we are talking about handsome man's game. You know those guys that women consider to be really good looking? Those guys that constantly get girls checking them out? Well, here's the thing. Have you ever seen a good looking dude with an average looking girl in his arm? Like the guy is a nine and the girl is only a seven. Or maybe you've seen a good looking dude that just had a lot of trouble with women. Well, these are the five dating mistakes that handsome guys make that destroys their love life and what you can do to fix it. So let's crack right into it. The first big mistake that handsome men make, and this is a big one, guys, is that handsome men get addicted to attention. Handsome men get addicted to attention Handsome men get addicted to validation from women. Look, if you're a handsome dude, you're walking around and girls are checking you out. Girls are looking your way. Girls are giving you eye contact. Girls are giving you indicators of interest. You're getting all this attention from girls, all this validation from women, and you get addicted to it. As the handsome guy, you just start to like all that attention. But here's the problem, guys. You use your looks not to get laid like you should, but just to get more and more attention. You start acting like a girl. You start acting like a chick. Guys, women use their looks to get attention. That's feminine. That's a girly thing to do. But you becoming a passive guy who never acts on anything and is just happy to get attention from girls that's not masculine. That's girly. That's what women do. Women use their looks for attention. If you're a good looking guy, gentlemen, you got to stop that shit immediately and start taking action to meet women. Start taking action to actually meet them. You need to start using your looks to go on actual dates with girls, not to get attention. Again, that's what girls do, but to actually start getting results to use your looks to make things happen. Attention getting, that's a very feminine thing. Passively collecting validation from other people, that's feminine. Whereas taking action, that is manly. Making shit happen, that is masculine. So if you're addicted to getting attention from girls, <sighs> gentlemen, stop it, stop it. The attention doesn't count for anything at the end of the day. You gotta stop acting like a feminine woman and instead man up and learn how to actually meet girls. And gentlemen, the second big mistake that good looking guys make is that they settle. Good looking guys settle. What I mean by that is that they settle for mediocre women. If you're a good looking dude, I guarantee you that you are not pushing yourself to get the hotter girls. Your good looks, in a way, I gotta tell you, it's a curse because you get some easy women falling into your lap and that makes you really freaking spoiled and it makes you really freaking lazy. So let me tell you a little story, gentlemen. In Miami, I used to wing with this really good looking guy. He was tall as hell, like six foot three, six foot four. He was blonde, he was athletic, he had that square testosterone jaw. And his whole strategy for meeting girls was, he would just stand, he'd just stand in the middle of the club, basically doing nothing, just stand there like a statue and just wait for girls to come up to him. And I'm telling you guys, this actually worked. He was good looking enough that girls would come up and approach him and he'd stand there for maybe, you know, 15 minutes and eventually some girl would come up to him and just start chatting him up. Easy breezy, sounds great, right? Well, it wasn't the nines and tens and the absolute stunners that came up to him. It was just kind of the cutish girls who would do that, right? Just the mm, average kind of cutish girls that would actually come up to him. But all this easy pussy, it made him so damn spoiled. It made him very passive. It made him very lazy so that he would never take any action to actually go up and talk to the hotter girls that he really wanted. He never meet the eights, nines, and tens. And ironically, 
It was the more average looking guys that I winged with that actually got hotter girls because they actually took action. And that's one of the biggest mistakes of good looking guys is that they get spoiled and they get lazy and they never take any action. So the hotter girls are actually out of their reach. So gentlemen, don't make that mistake. All right, game mistake number three that good looking guys make is that they get attached, they get attached to feeling good. That's right, good looking gentlemen, they get very attached to feeling good. Look, as a good looking guy, you're already getting attention. You're already getting IOIs from girls. You're already getting some easy women just kind of falling into your lap with almost no effort, right? So you don't want to put your good emotional state at risk just for a potentially worse emotional state. Maybe you're not exactly where you are in your dating life that you want to be. Maybe you're not exactly getting the hottest girls, but you know what? The good looking guy, you're feeling pretty good about yourself. You like all that easy attention. You like that sweet, sweet validation you're getting. You like that these sometimes average looking girls, they kind of just fall into your lap automatically. And you're attached to all of these good feelings and you don't want to risk that good state for a potentially worse state. So when it comes down to really taking action, like actually pushing yourself to proactively go out and meet hotter girls, your brain just tells you, hey, look man, if you approach that hotter girl, if you take a risk with that hotter girl, she might reject you and you could feel a lot worse. Your brain tells you, look, you might not feel like a 10 out of 10 right now. You might not be getting those 10 out of 10 girls, but you don't feel like complete shit either. So just don't approach, don't take that risk. And some good looking dudes, you know, they feel really incredible. They lead these incredible lives. They feel great about themselves. And he feels like, yeah, I'm good looking. All the chicks want me, but by taking action to meet more beautiful women, he now risks losing that feeling of feeling incredible. He risks losing all those incredible emotions. And that's why all these pretty boys, all these pretty boys, they're so damn passive. All these pretty boys, they never take any action because they don't want to risk losing all those good emotions that they've already got. So if you're a good looking guy and you want to date hotter girls and you're dating now, you have to be risk. You have to be willing to risk all those good emotions. You got to be able to let go of feeling pretty good to try something more difficult. And by the way, guys, coaching you to help you smash these inner game blocks that hold you back. That's what I do. That's my job. And I can help coach you too right here at Girls Soft. I can help you whether you're an average looking guy or if you're a handsome Chad. If you want to start dating hotter girls, you can work directly with me now and I'll help pinpoint that one thing that's holding you back and show you how to easily and simply flip on that attraction switch in a girl that you really want to be. So visit Girls Soft, fill out that application, and I'm going to see if you are a good fit to work with me. guys. Spots are limited, so you can at least get on that waiting list. So I encourage you to apply right now rather than later. All right, guys, the fourth big mistake that good looking guys make is that they get stuck running attraction game. They start running way too much attraction, right? You see, attraction game, you do that to create this feeling of charged excitement in a girl. You run attraction game to capture the girl's attention, to capture her engagement and switch her from deciding, well, I don't really know about this guy to getting 100% true engagement with you. Attraction game, it can be push pull. It can be removing her validation. It can be plot lines or telling her stories or teasing the girl or challenging the girl or making a bold move, like picking her up and spinning her around. And guys, if you want to learn how to do any of those things, check out the coaching with me. The point is though, a lot of you good looking guys, you run all these game tactics and tricks based on attraction to get the girl interested in you and you get stuck running attraction game. <laughs> no, 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 gentlemen. 
Understand this, guys. As a good looking dude, your good looks are already enough to create that feeling of charged excitement in the girl. You already got it. It's already a done deal and you don't really need to do any more. You can spend that first minute or two certainly doing a little bit of a trashing game, but that's it guys. That's all you really need. After a minute, you can kind of just assume, if you're a good looking guy, <laughs> you can just assume that the girl is already attracted to you and you don't need to do that much attraction material. Attraction game, it's really more for average looking guys that need to create that charged excitement in the girl by other means besides their looks because average looking guys, they just don't have the looks to do that, right? So if you're a good looking guy and you're running five minutes or even 10 minutes of attraction game, no, 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 that is way too long, way too long. As a good looking guy, if you open well, you should have her feeling that charged excitement right off the open, right off the bat. And you can move then into flirting and sexual tension and getting her to chase you within that very first minute or two. And if you wanna learn how to do all that guys, fill out the application and get that coaching from me. Now the fifth big mistake that good looking guys make is that they underplay, they underplay their looks. That's right. Good looking guys, what they have a tendency to do is underplay their looks. Look, if you're a good looking dude, just be cocky about it. Act like a guy that's handsome. Your attitude should be, hey girl, sleeping with me is the best thing that can ever happen to you. Sleeping with me, that's a gift that I'm giving you. I am your best option. I am that 10 out of 10 for you. As a good looking guy, that's how you should be thinking. You should be cocky about it. If a girl pays you a compliment like she tells you that you look good, you should tell her right back, yeah, I know, thank you, right? Girls like cockiness in a man. If you act like a 10, a girl is going to treat you like you're a 10. But a lot of good looking dudes, a lot of good looking dudes, they downplay their looks. They try to hide their looks underneath the table, so to speak. A girl gives you a compliment and you get all shy, you get all embarrassed. You're like, no, 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 right? Or you dress down. You start wearing these crappy clothes or you act like you are a seven. Well, guess what, guys? When you act like you're a seven, a girl is going to treat you like you're a seven. She's thinking, hmm, this guy is not actually that confident. Yeah, he's good looking, he's handsome, but I think I misjudged him. He acts kind of like a low value beta boy. And her attraction just whoo, deflates for you, like a limp balloon. So as a good looking guy, do not underplay your looks, right? Be cocky about it. All right, gentlemen, and there's two more videos here that you do not want to miss. The five choosing signals that you missed that a girl actually likes you. And the three things that you never ever want to say to a woman ever. I've posted links to both of these videos. You're most likely missing these signals that a girl secretly likes you. And a lot of you gentlemen are losing girls over these three verbal blunders. So check out both video guys right now.